everyone, I'm Chong Zhang, and my topic is on tone consonant co-occurrence probability in Mandarin. This work is in collaboration with Dr. Wang Fanxi. Mandarin Chinese is a tonal language, and it has been long noted that some consonantal onsets rarely co-occur with certain lexical tones in Mandarin Chinese. For example, as a result of um, historical tone split, unaspirated upstrings seldom appear in a tone to syllable, and sonorant onsets rarely co occur with tone one. However, there are still a fair amount of exceptions to this robust tendency in the lexicon. So, here are two examples. The word for to pull has an unaspirated upstrand onset, but also a tone two. And the word for mother, ma, has a sonorant onset and a tone one. So this co-occurrence restrictions are not all or nothing in nature. Okay. Uh, the first aim of this study thus is to explore to what extent do native speakers possess the knowledge of tone consonant association. And if they do, does this knowledge, which involves both segmental and supersegmental entities, influence word likeness in experimental settings? Past research has found unique effects of sequence probabilities of segments on word likeness judgment of both pseudo words and real words in English, uh, such as the result reported in Bali and Han in 2001. By the same token, we wonder if the tone consonant association in Mandarin also influenced speaker's judgment in a similar fashion. And the second end of this study is to propose a new lexical metric that is analogous to conditional phonotactic probability to quantify the tone consonant association. So for a given onset X and a lexical tone Y, uh, the term tone consonant co-occurrence probability or TCCP is operationally defined as the type frequency of the combination of x and y divided by the type frequency of x. The more details of calculation will be provided later. And so to answer our questions, we conducted a word likeness judgment experiment. 17 native speakers of Taiwanese Mandarin participated in our experiment. So they were prompted with visual stimuli written in Mandarin phonetic symbols, uh, which is a transliteration system commonly used in Taiwan. And the participants were asked to try produce the visual stimuli they saw and they had to evaluate the word likeness of this sound combinations based on the seven point record scale, with seven being the most word like. And as described previously, we need the type frequencies to calculate TCCP. Here we approximate type frequency as the number of lexical entries in the of a particular sound or sound combination in the complex Mandarin Chinese dictionary. And this figure here shows the resulting TCCP. We sorted all onset, uh, consonantal onset lexical tone combinations, and the horizontal axis represents the ranking of the, that particular sound or sound combination. The range of TCCPs was from 
uh, v almost 0 to almost 0 0.5. And the lowest 14 and the highest 15 count combinations were considered as having low and high PCCP respectively. Uh, there are four categories of stimuli. Uh, shooter words with high TCCP, shooter words with low TCCP, real words with high TCCP, and real words with low TCCP. We selected 21 stimuli for each category. We also considered uh, the influence for compounds of neighborhood density. Uh, so we uh, it approximate this variable as the number of monosyllables that have a Leibniz time at a distance of one from the stimulus. And we entered this as a covariate in our subsequent statistical analysis. Uh, this figure illustrates the rating results of our experiment. The purplish color represents less word-like or lower scores, and the greenish color represents the higher scores or more word-like. So first, let's look at the two bars on the right-hand side that represent uh, the data for real words. So real words with a low TCCP received considerably more low scores than those with a uh, high TCCP. Uh, as for shooter words uh, on the left-hand side, the distinction between high and low TCCPs was not very obvious. Uh, we analyzed the rating data uh, with cumulative link mixed models. Uh, our models contain random intercepts for participants and items. The fixed effects were less equality, TCCP, and D, and the uh, interactions among these three variables. Uh, starting from the highest order term, we performed likelihood ratio tests to assess the contribution of each predictor. The predictor was removed if it does not enhance the model fit. And the most parsimonious model we found uh, contained the main effect of TCCP and its interactions with ND and lexicality. We further built separate models for shooter words and real words uh, using the single term division method. And the best model for real words contained only the TCCP effect. The best model for shooter words contained only the ND effect. And I will move on to the discussion. So TCCP helped explain the word likeness judgment results to a larger extent in the statistical models. Thus, it can be considered a useful method for describing the relationship between consonants and tones. The, we found an, a significant effect of TCCP on word likeness. This indicates that native speakers are sensitive to the gradient nature of tone consonant co occurrence in the lexicon. Uh, interestingly, TCCP interacts with lexicality and ND. So first, ND affected shooter words, but not real words. Our results are consistent with those reported by Yao and Sharma 2017. They conducted a series of lexical decision tasks. And the their models, in their models of reaction time, the fitted regression coefficient of the ND effect was generally larger for shooter words than real words. 
also the effect of TCCP was confined to real words, unlike the results in English, uh, like in Bailey and Hani 2001. So this is probably due to less significant rule of lexical tones in comparison with segments in Mandarin Chinese. Uh, as evidenced by lower fidelity of supra-segmental properties in loanword adaptation from uh, other languages to into Mandarin, and as well as the experimental results in several many psycholinguistic studies, such as Ye and Koning, 1999. To, uh, uh, to summarize, in the study, we propose a new metric formulated as TCCP or tone consonant co-occurrence probability to quantify the affinity of tone consonant association. Uh, we found that native speakers of Mandarin Chinese do possess the knowledge of tone consonant association according to the result of our rating experiment. Uh, however, we also found that the effect of TCCP is not carried over to pseudo words. So we acknowledge that there are some limitations of this study. Uh, present results look promising, but we only use a relatively small set of phoning combinations. So we are planning to include more test items and recruit more participants. This work was supported by the grant from Ministry of Science and Technology, Taiwan. And this is the end of my presentation.